Uh, hey there, next time you find yourself walking past a street wall, try to look closer. Perhaps you'll find something unusual. I'm talking about an embedded USB connector. But don't be too quick to plug in your devices in it. Here's why. In 2010, conceptual artist Aaron Barthel took a round-the-world trip during which he's created a sort of a quest. The cool thing is that now anybody can take part in his rather off-bit project. It's called Dead Drops, and it's a worldwide file-sharing network, although it isn't exactly internet. It's a USB stick built into walls and buildings all around the world. Germany, Russia, Ghana, United States, China, and all those USB sticks are functional, so you can easily plug your notebook and share your stuff with everybody. Apart from a conceptual art idea, Aram sees his project as a sort of anonymous and free file-sharing network for anyone who's curious. So if, for example, you wish to find one of these sticks and share your stuff with other people, you can. Each flash drive was installed containing a single readme.txt file, which explains the purpose of the project. Dead Drops has its own website, deaddrops.com. If you want to know where to find those USBs, you can go to deaddrops.com and check it out. There you'll find a detailed description of where to find each unit, which are many. There are 1,400 sticks placed in total. Now, some of you are probably asking yourself about a possible computer virus threat that may come along this interesting quest. Well, it looks like it's up to you to decide. You can take the risk or you can skip it. Suit yourself. Anyway, a lot of people took part in this project and it seems to be doing well. But I want to warn you, there are similar, but at the same time very dangerous devices out there. They're called USB killers. These things are intended to destroy your hardware devices. If your device doesn't have a proper protection, then there's a 99% chance that it will be wrecked by USB Kill 2.0. It collects the power from your device in its energy storage. And as soon as it reaches the power of approximately 240 volt, it discharges the high voltage that ruins your device components time after time, until it destroys your gizmo completely. So tell me guys, are you willing to stick your stuff into random flash drives you may see on the street? If I were you, I wouldn't. I will certainly not do that myself. Maybe if it's dead drops, I could go with it, but not otherwise. I don't want my stuff ruined, okay? Right, well, press the like button if you like the video, and remember to share your comments, and I'll see you next time.